Hi everyone, in this video I am so excited to be able to show you Kaleidos Makeup's new individual highlighters that they are launching. So what I'm going to do in this video is it's going to be a typical swatch video just like I always show you the products, I give you all the details, I'll do arm swatches of all of the colors and finger swatches, then I will apply a couple of them to my face to show you how they apply on to the skin. Before I do that I'm going to do just a miniature unboxing for you so I have not actually seen what's inside, I haven't seen the highlighters themselves. We're going to do that together for the very first time and then I will jump into the regular uh, scheduled course of things which is to do the swatches for you. So in terms of where you can purchase these you go to Kaleidos Makeup's website. I'll put a link in the description below as I always do as well as a link to Ebates so that if you do do online shopping you can get cash back. These are available already for pre-order on the website so if you want to do that that's already there for you as an option. Then they are officially launching on the 28th so in a day or two from now they will be ready for actual ordering if you haven't pre-ordered them. So this is the box that Kaleidos Makeup sent over and if you open it up inside it looks like they sent um, one of the brush sets that they have also. So these are the brushes that they launched I want to say in the past month um, and they have this kind of paler turquoise handles. They are, they are synthetic bristles and they feel very soft. So maybe I'll even use, this is the largest of the set, um, maybe I'll even use this one since it's actually a nice size for highlighting. I'll use this one for swatches even though I usually use a bigger brush. Let's see how that goes. All right, so there are your six highlighters. Each of them has their own designed box. And I really like the feel of these because the entire collection, this is part of the larger collection, uh, which started with the eyeshadow palette. So again, if you haven't checked out the videos I've done for those, make sure you go check them out. The formula that they have for their shadows is fantastic. And they are super affordable for the quality. It is very surprising that they are priced so fairly. Um, but going back to what I was saying, all of this is part of a collection that is kind of about future uh, times, looking forward to the future. Futurism is what the collection is. And this has, at the same time, the design of these has a tinge of like retro kind of looking back quality. So it's an interesting touch there. All right, let's take these six. Let's go ahead and open each of them up, look at them up close and get to swatch. All right, so as I said, these are available for pre-sale and uh, soon for straight purchase through Kaleidos Makeup's website. These are called the Space Age Highlighters and you can purchase the entire set of six or you can purchase them individually. If you purchase them individually, they are $18.33. If you purchase the set of all six, it is $99.52. So you save about $10 if you want to purchase all six of them together. The description for the highlighter says, an interstellar vacation for the senses to the heights of optic opulence. This constellation of sun-soaked color-shifting highlighters is here to guide you on a lavish voyage to your most radiant self. Shine as bright as the stars with the Space H highlighters. So let's look at the individual boxes here just so you can see how they're each designed. That's the one for Solar Sailor, Laser Glazer, Skywalker, Comet Catcher, Star Surfer, and Ray Rider. And hopefully you can see there, you get 2.4 grams or 0.09 ounces in each of these. And here are the highlighters out of their boxes with their own packaging. Again, so creative, unique, fun. Have you ever seen any brand do anything close to the design and creativity of these in their boxes, in their packaging? I can't think of any. So. It's very, it's not surprising uh, Kaleidos Makeup has that creativity, uniqueness, and artistry in all of the products they've released that I've seen. Um, it's just surprising because we haven't actually seen it before, but it's not surprising that they've come out with something that is so cute, cool, and fun. So here's the packaging for Solar Sailor. The uh, packaging, it's kind of hard to describe. It's a tin. Uh, feels like tin, but there's also a soft surface, a soft quality to the surface, so I'm not quite sure what that material is. And the design isn't flat, so these rays on the sun here are 
uh, raised. And for all of the boxes, they just kind of snap open like this and they do not have mirrors inside. So this is pretty much what they look like in this tin. So I will say that the packaging is certainly not uh, space efficient. It is not the most economical. It is a little bulky. So you definitely wouldn't need as much packaging for a highlighter of this size. And I'm going to assume that the depth doesn't go down this whole way either. Um, so I guess that would be my one criticism of this kind of packaging. Obviously the trade-off is is the creativity of the design. Here's Laser Gazer. Again, you have raised parts of the rays that are coming down here. Skywalker. These steps are also raised on these lines here. You can probably tell there's some shimmer on there. We'll talk about that in just a second. Ray Rider. All of this is raised. Star Surfer. Got some contours here that are raised up. And Comet Catcher. All these squiggly lines there are raised. Let's go ahead and look inside. I kind of already showed you this one, Solar Sailor. They also come with this plastic flap that you can remove. But you can see the pan also has that embossed and raised design in there. Laser Glazer. Now this one, you can see that it's not broken apart, but the pan has kind of come out in there. Oh man, you can already see that duochrome. I can see in the camera, it's like gold, um, but to my eye, it's actually reddish. Let's see if we can capture that. Maybe this way you could see. So pretty. Then the reason why my hands are kind of glittery and there's kind of glitter on this is because Skywalker did come pretty much crumbled. I did press it down, um, but it was pretty, and it still is kind of dropping glitter and shimmer everywhere. Here's what it looks like just so you can see the duochrome, but as with the other pans, I'm assuming that it had an embossed design on there. Not sure what it was since I had to repress it. What I will say is that Kaleidos Makeup sent the package with so much safety wrapping. The box that I unboxed at the beginning of the video itself came wrapped in double layered bubble wrap. You can see how messy this is, so just beware. It came double wrapped um, with bubble wrap and then inside the box, there were an additional two um, packages of bubble wrap. Actually, I can show you right here. So three of them were in one of these and the other three were in a second set. So there's pretty much, there was pretty much three layers of bubble wrap protecting these plus the box. So I think it's kind of just the nature of perhaps how delicate the pans are inside or the packaging. It wasn't a, a lack of safety packaging on the company's part. So what I will say is if you receive any of these that are broken or damaged and you want a replacement, go ahead and just reach out to customer service. Their customer service is great um, and I'm confident they will very quickly give you and send you a replacement. All right, I had to do a little bit of cleanup there, but the show must go on. Let's open up Ray Ryder. Ooh, very pretty. Not as much of an obvious duochrome, just from original sight. Star Surfer. And Comet Catcher. All right, because it's the messiest, let's go ahead and start with Skywalker. This is described as an incandescent aqua blue with ultraviolet undertones. Set up your highlighter game and reach for the sky with this stellar blue shine. So we are going to take the H1 brush from Kaleidos Makeup, and we're gonna see how swatches go with this brush. All right, so as described, whoa, this is an incandescent aqua blue with ultraviolet undertones. Now this definitely has chunkier flakes of glitter. So if you are not into that, then if you need a much more refined sheen, then maybe not this particular shade. Although as we are working it into the skin, wow, that's becoming a lot more even. Those larger flakes have broken down into smaller particles. And that looks 
pretty even on the skin, actually. You can see there's some fallout there, though, so just be aware of that. Let's go ahead and layer it up and see what we get. Yeah, you see how it starts out with less refined kind of pieces, but then as you're working it into the skin, it all evens out, becomes very smooth. Second shade up is going to be Laser Glazer, a piercingly bright green infused with rose gold. Don't be afraid, let this brilliant emerald ray beam you up to another dimension. So going in with the same brush cleaned off into Laser Glazer. Ooh. So I thought I was a little curious as to how this would work with the description of the green and rose gold, but actually because it's so iridescent and trans transparent or sheer, I guess you would say, it actually works quite well. And I don't know that the rose gold comes off that strongly. I can see just a bit of the green shimmer, and then the base actually looks more like a translucent um, bronzy base. Let's build it up with a second layer. Watched with a second layer here. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. May not be as easily wearable as the other ones just because it has that golden, um, slightly green tint to it. But is very pretty nonetheless. Up third is going to be Solar Sailor, a sleek and radiant satin gold, cast away and drift through a sea of stars and with this smooth sailing shimmer. Here is, ooh, Solar Sailor. Now you can see, um, or maybe you can't, hopefully you can see the shimmer in this is more refined. So the first one had the largest um, chunks of shimmer, then the second shade was more refined. This one is even more refined. Uh, I don't think this is a duochrome shade. I think this is more of a straightforward soft gold sheen. Let's apply a second layer. I don't think any of these so far have needed multiple layers, but this is more to show you what it would look like built up. Very pretty. All of them have layered really nicely and effectively. Next up is going to be Ray Rider, a velvety champagne sheen with a trace of peach. Cruise through gilded galaxies and carve through solar flares on this lustrous golden ray. All right, going in for the first layer. So this one is described as a velvety champagne with a hint of peach, which I think is pretty accurate. It's mostly champagne, at least on this layer. Let's see if that changes any with a second one. Yeah, at least on my skin tone, I'd say this is mostly champagne. Very smooth, even more refined than the prior three. And next we're gonna look at Star Surfer, a smooth rosy champagne with silver undertones. Ride a wave of creamy starlight every time you dip into this heavenly shimmer. First layer coming up. So we heard rosy champagne with silver undertones. Very accurate in terms of color description. That went on super easily. Let's layer it up. Oh wow. Really turns up the punch on that one. And last up is Comet Catcher, a silky fluorescent fuchsia with a peach veneer. Shower your senses with this cosmic burst of berry stardust. All right. Last one to be swatched with a brush. So I'm running out of room here. I'm going to go back to the beginning and swatch it first over here. Now we heard this one is a fluorescent fuchsia with a peach veneer, which again I think is very accurate. That's the other thing I really appreciate about this company. They give you very accurate color descriptions. Comparatively, this seems to be most subtle shade, not that it's really subtle, but let's go ahead and add a second layer. 
and build that up. So pretty. Yeah, it's, it's as if someone from the company actually uses these products, swatches them, and knows what the actual colors are. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm swatching things, especially things from MAC, the color descriptions are just so bizarre and not fitting the product at all, but I really appreciate that. They're very accurate with Kaleidos. Okay, so there are your six highlighting shades swatched with the Kaleidos brush. All of these are beautiful. You'll get a variety of um, particle sizes, I guess you would say. This is the uh, chunkiest still, even with blending. And then you'll get a um, variety of, uh, what do you call it, refinement, I guess you would say. So it's more about your particular taste. Let's go ahead and look at these up close. One by one. And those duochromes. Very creative. And as usual, I'm also going to do finger swatches. So let's go ahead and do Skywalker. I'll also actually do this one second to stay consistent with the order of the brush swatches. I'm at catcher first and laser glazer third. All right, so we have Comet Catcher, which is more subtle and sheer. Skywalker, definitely larger particles there. Laser glazer, ooh, beautiful iridescent um, eyeshadow shade that one would be. And then the last three will be Solar Sailor, Ray Rider, and what is this one? Star Surfer. So Solar Sailor, Ray Rider, and Star Surfer. All right, there you go. Very pretty, all of these. And of course, you can use any of these as eyeshadows if you prefer them that way too. All right, let's go ahead and apply some of these onto the cheeks. I'm gonna choose two different shades, apply one on each cheek so we get a little more bang for our buck. Um, as for the rest of my face, if you didn't see the last video, that was for a sneak peek of Urban Decay's two upcoming um, on the run palettes. Here's what they look like and I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving one of each palette away to viewers. So if you want to see how I got this eye look and see all the shades in here swatched in a review, then I'll link that in the upper right hand corner. Make sure you go check that out and enter the giveaway. Then for my lips, I am wearing one of my recent favorite lip products. This is um, one of YSL's Rouge Volupte, or however you pronounce it, um, Shine Oil oil in stick lipsticks. This is a beautiful formula because it is a perfect hybrid of a balm and a lipstick. So it feels really nourishing on the lips, super easy to wear. The shade that I have here is shade 44. Um, so if you want to get this exact shade, but any of the shades in the range, whatever suits you, it's really the formula that is really lovely to wear. And then to complete the look uh, with the highlighter, I'm going to apply one of the Lancome Blush Satil shades. They sent over a packet of these. So I'm gonna um, use one of them in the video, maybe take out another one and then give the rest away in upcoming giveaways. But this is a formula that I have used many times. Um, I think I'm gonna use the shade Smile and Blush for this video. And these, both of these products are things that I talked about in this past month's What's New Beauty video. So if you haven't seen that one, I'll also link that in the upper right hand corner where I talk about a ton of different, um, it's kind of like a monthly roundup of new products. So if that's the kind of thing that might interest you, then go ahead and check that out. But in any case, this is a, just a very reliable, um, very high quality formula of blushes and I've been really liking using this particular shade lately, which is Smile and Blush, which looks like that. So I'm really curious to see what uh, this shade Laser Glazer looks like on the skin. So I'm gonna apply that using the same Kaleidos brush on one side and I'll apply it first and then put the blush over. 
Oh, wow, look at that. What a fantastic formula. Wow. Right away you can see that duochrome. And it's both noticeable but also wearable. Which I feel like is very hard to pull off with shades like this. Wow. Okay, no need to layer that up, I don't think. I'm gonna go ahead in with my smile and blush. Blush. Look at that. And then on this side, I'm gonna apply the blush first and then put the highlight on top. I love this flush of pink here with mauve. Great color, it's something you can wear sheer or very easily build up to get the intensity that suits your liking. It has a very, very subtle sheen to it. It's not shimmer, it's not glittery. And that highlight on this side stayed right in place even though I put that blush on top and was blending and buffing it out. All right, for my right cheek, I wanna use Comet Catcher because I know that that's the more subtle. Oh, it's not that subtle on the cheeks. Uh, this shade matches really nicely with the blush. But you can definitely see that on the cheeks right away. Now, of course, if you want to build it up, you can go ahead and layer it, but you very well may not want to. And you know what? I really want to use this on the lids, laser glazer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, putting it on top of this. On top of this eye look I already did. Wow. Oh, I love that as an eyeshadow shade. Oh, yeah. So there's that on, applied on top. All right, so there are the six new Space Age highlighters launching soon at Kaleidos Makeup. As you can tell, I really adore this brand. I love these highlighters. I do think that my criticism stands as valid in terms of the packaging being bulky. So if you're someone who really cares about being economical, then this packaging is not gonna suit your taste or your lifestyle maybe. Um, and of course I did receive one of the six highlighters that was broken. So that is a risk that you're going to take even though the package was packaged very well, better than any package I've ever received from somewhere like Sephora or Ulta. Or Ulta. And if you saw my latest Huda Beauty's uh, video on the Nude Obsessions palettes, you will hear my mini rant about uh, receiving all three of the palettes from that collection from Huda Beauty broken. Every, every shimmering shade was broken in each palette, basically. Um, and that one only came in a thin layer of bubble wrap. So it wasn't for a lack of trying on Kaleidos' part to keep these intact. So just be aware of that. Don't be too surprised if you order uh, several of them or the whole set and if one's broken, make sure you get your replacement from the company. I'm sure they'd be happy to do that. But in terms of the quality of these, these highlighters are not your subtle sallies. They are more impactful and in your face. You can absolutely sheer most of them out. I think it'd be a little bit difficult on um, that shade that had more chunky glitter, Skywalker, just because the particles are larger. I think it'd be a little bit harder to sheer them out. But for the rest of them, if you use something like a fan brush instead or a light hand, you can keep it subtle. But if you want to light, layer it and make it more impactful, you can absolutely have that effect. And the bonus is you can get really pretty eyeshadows out of them too. So thank you for Kaleidos for sending these over for me to look at. Appreciate it as always. If you enjoyed watching this video and looking at these with me, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos and I'll see you in the next one.